Good afternoon, guys. This is Al. Uh, September 30th, 2019. As you see, everywhere the changing of the color. That means that the fall came, which actually is good news for the people that they want to apply for medical physics residency. Uh, sorry, the past couple of days I was super busy with the clinic and I couldn't release really uh, videos that were this Saturday. I decided to put the third video. Uh, about the medical physics residency. The first thing that I wanted to talk about it is uh, basically uh, the residency is start from the medical physics or AAPM website, which is aapm.org slash CAP, uh, which I'm gonna put it in the description that how you go there and you make a login information, create a login for yourself, and basically they are uh, putting in a new version of the double APM slash cap or medical physics residency where hopefully it's very awesome and then because the old version was not really nice didn't have that much feature and basically you create your information from the contact information where did you study did you pass the ABR part one uh, uploading your resume cover letter and most importantly uh, recommendation letters therefore for all of you guys that really wanted to apply make sure that you already talk your references and make them because they get caught up also with the uh, clinical duty and they forget to put for you the right time uh, their reference letter and it happens sometimes in the beginning some of the programs uh, really close they have a early deadline and uh, it's hard if you don't have if you have incomplete application that you don't you didn't put your uh, recommendation letters you're gonna be in trouble therefore definitely uh, try to talk to your um, references and ask them and give them a deadline ahead of a time like it before even two three weeks that you make sure that you have your reference letter therefore the the thing that happens to me this year uh, I work in the same depart I work I got all of my ref recommendation letters from the same department that I was working with therefore I'm asking you as a person that had this experience please make sure that you get a variety of the recommendation letter from different places don't caught up with just one place if you are doing PhD try to get one from your advisor if you are doing post I get one therefore try to actually get from different places that you work this one is start uh, actually uh, prevent you from some confusion which we can discuss about it in the separate videos about what confusion makes for if you get all of your recommendation letters from the same institute. Uh, the second things actually I wanted to talk about is there is a Google Doc that I was not aware when I was applying for the uh, medical physics residency, which really there are lots of cool information. People from University of California that they went to the true medical physics residency uh, back in 2011 to 12, they actually created this Google Doc which they uh, started from September's of each year trying to put all of the information of the different medical physics residents. And previous videos, I put a web page of the campus, which has 101 uh, residency program, but each year they create more medical physics residency. Therefore, we are not just limited to those. There are some new program that each year they show up and they start getting applications from different institutions. Therefore, make sure that you review all of them. For example, now that the AAPM works on the uh, website of the AAPM.org slash cap, there is a medical physics residency that came up called Mercy, uh, which I'm gonna put and match uh, a number of them in the description. And then actually they, they said the deadline is uh, September 30th, 2019, which is really bad because it's still the website of the AAPM doesn't work. Therefore, make sure that you really are 
uh, updated for information and uh, another thing that I'm gonna talk about uh, next video is about how to choose imaging and therapy because it happened to me this year that I applied for both programs and I end up with not getting a great interviews in imaging therefore uh, there are some uh, advice that I have for all of you that you wanted to apply to prevent all of this confusion and makes your past better. Therefore, uh, I wanted to end this video here. Uh, I'm going to put in the description some information uh, about APM. put the link for that Google Doc that I taught that uh, some of the previous applicants, they went through residency, they posted with all of the update and when they start giving you the interview, I'm going to put there and then hopefully uh, you watch this video, you leave us comment, gives us thumbs up, and then you're excited about, and if whatever you wanted to discuss about imaging versus therapy, or we want to talk about uh, letters of the reference, and also you want to talk about uh, making your resume and cover letter, because this is very important. This is the point that you wanted to sell yourself, therefore you should make sure that uh, the, your resume and cover letters show and present who you are and what you want it to be. Therefore, I'm going to end up this video and thank you. I Please give us a thumbs up and uh, please participate, put the comments. This way I learn, you learn, and we can communicate with her. And then uh, uh, thank you for everything and have a wonderful Saturday. Bye-bye.